Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 18th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, disaster alerts from around our planet. And we always start out looking at the sun, looking here at 304 angstroms, looking at plasma around our sun, departing sunspot, incoming small, fiery region. And we did have a backside eruption. Cannot see any evidence of it here, but it definitely showed in Iswa. We'll show you in just a moment, looking at the real-time solar data as we have a solar wind speed of about 296 kilometers per hour. It's calmed down. It did go up to about 355 overnight during this little spike right here. As you can see, it flipped, the phi angle flipped back. And now we've seen the density particles decrease. So definitely something affected our magnetosphere during this little time plot. And as well, looking here, ISWA, our space prediction annual spiral, you can see a backside eruption there on the sun being shown here. And we are the little yellow dot on the right hand side. That is Earth. Looking at here, the Schumann residence for the last 24 hours. It's still a little off, I would say, at a low power of 23. 23. Power of 8, though. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it has been busy. As early this morning, I reported on the 7.4 earthquake Kermadec Islands, New Zealand. And that was early this morning, about 8 a.m., 7.4 earthquake and there's been many aftershocks 5.5 5.4 and just recently another 5.4 very busy across new zealand japan also seeing 5.0 here in yonokuni japan 5.0 and 5.3 4.8 here being reported in myanmar as well as 4.8 Indonesia, that's right by Sabang. 4.4 here reported Afghanistan, quiet across the African and Eurasia plate, quiet across South American plate, Central America 4.8 reported here, Panama again, and still watching the minor activity throughout Puerto Rico. And we did see an increase in seismicity across the west coast here. Small rumbles in Idaho. As well, a ridge Ridgecrest livening up again. 3.0 reported here in Prague, Oklahoma. Across the Aleutian Islands, minor rumbles. Largest being here, 4.0 in Girdwood, Alaska. And that is... All of the earthquakes for the last 24 hours will get a quick glimpse here in the last seven days on our planet. As just recently, we're seeing an increase in deeper earthquakes. White rings are the most recent and the elevated rings are the deepest. So just today, we did have a very deep earthquake. I'm just going to go back over here. I did not see the depth of this 4.9 in Fiji, 616 kilometer depth. So yeah, a very, very deep earthquake again. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Watch for a larger shallow earthquake to follow. Pacific Disaster Center here, where we update the most recent volcanoes. I'm going to have to do a volcanic activity report, so it will be coming up soon. We've got Semeru as well. We've got uh, Laguna del Mal, del Mal. Laguna de Mal in Chile. This is the brand new volcano. It was just erupted and was updated an hour ago. So a newly activated volcano in South America. 
as it is being bombarded that whole coastline by intense low pressure systems other than that not too much to talk about for, for volcanoes a couple landslides in the Shenzhen Pi, uh, province but we're looking at a lot of extreme heat being reported across the world extreme heat and storms and forest fires those are the three major concerns for our planet right now as well flooding still across southeastern United States now moving into the northeastern as that low pressure system hangs around it is basically a tropical depression and has been hanging around for too long now let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth Meteor Mike and we'll show you exactly what's going on here across North America home base here Calgary Alberta cool seasonable temperatures throughout the week Watch for warmer temperatures and thunderstorms to move in midweek into the weekend. Rain still moving in to the west coast of BC. Big system forming here for central United States. Watch for extreme weather and watch for that to funnel straight through Ontario as well as the center of the low will be over the Great Lakes Sunday into Monday. So watch for extreme weather and some good summer rains I guess it summer we're not really there yet but yeah summer rains the Atlantic provinces still hanging out in the cool weather I swear there's warm temperatures coming soon and they will try to ride the jet stream wherever it may be as we've got all these low pressure systems moving south to north now instead of west to east it's so weird I don't know where our new jet stream is warm temperatures across Africa funneling into Europe and there's a low pressure system hanging around there so watch for extreme weather thunderstorm conditions all across Eastern Central Europe and into Spain as a low pressure system or sorry high pressure system hangs around Spain into Portugal and then watch as a Greenland monster attacks the UK bringing a lot of thunderstorm conditions because of the warm temperatures that are being funneled up and we've got these monster cold systems being funneling down very interesting weather across Europe as well so heads up my UK friends and family across Africa not much to talk about daily evaporation rains they need more than that as I reported on those fires yesterday watch for later in the week some heavy rains to move into the coastlines of Zombe, Mozambique, Zimbabwe. And then, yeah, it's all about the heat. The heat is on in the East Indies, moving straight up into Russia. 46 degrees Celsius in some places. And the monsoon season is on across East India and Southeast Asia. This low pressure system has been hanging around for, I swear, seven days now. And even in the five day forecast, it's not going anywhere. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. There are a lot of flooding conditions, flash floods and landslides already being reported. Watch for uh, atmospheric river of moisture to funnel straight off of China, missing Japan, heading straight out into the middle of the Pacific. And then we do have a storm warning here for southeastern Australia. Has a low pressure system, intense and vigorous one. Moves in between you and Tasmania. And see this little white spot? That's right, you guys could see some snow. So heads up, southeastern Australia. As far north as New South Wales, as the moisture and winds will be affecting you guys throughout the week. Later in the week, a little bit of moisture moving into northwestern parts of Australia. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, not too much to talk about. Heavier regions, coastlines of Panama, moving up into Guam. Watch for thunderstorms and extreme weather throughout Paraguay, Uruguay. And then eastern Argentina as well as a low pressure system tries to form on the coastline there later in the week throughout Buenos Aires 
will bring some fast-moving storms. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Much love to you all. Do you see the difference? I can see the difference. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. Thank you.